We're heading to the Emirate of Abu Dhabi next for a final reflection on the sporting highlights of last year. Recognised as the premier honours event on the international sporting calendar, the Laureus World Sports Awards acknowledge the pinnacle of athletic achievement. For the past 10 years, its annual ceremony has brought together the brightest stars from both the sporting and entertainment worlds for one breathtaking evening of celebration. In order to win a Laureus World Sports Awards in one of uh, the categories, you have to be an outstanding athlete. You have to have uh, had an outstanding year of performance and you also have to represent uh, what the sporting ideals of the Laureus World Sports Academy are. And that's uh, being a tenacious winner, uh, being humble, and uh, being true to whatever your sport is. Behind the glitz and the glamour of the awards night, however, there's a strong and serious message to use sport as a tool for social change. A vision set forth by Laureus patron Nelson Mandela a decade ago at the inaugural ceremony in Monte Carlo. Sport has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little us does. The Laureus Sport for Good Foundation supports almost 80 initiatives worldwide and since its inception has raised 20 million euros to help improve the lives of young people as far afield as Argentina, Cambodia and Rwanda. We're here to honor what these extraordinary athletes do uh, throughout the year. Um, but it's this other stuff that they do that maybe doesn't get quite the kind of attention that I know is hugely important to them as, as individuals. And, and I think that all of them feel that they've taken the great fortune uh, and the God-given talents that they have and that they have worked so hard to develop and challenge and are putting it towards something that's hugely important um, for children around the world. For this evening, however, it was the red carpet that beckoned. And with the celebrities out in force, there remain seven major categories from which to determine winners. Your Highness, members of the Academy, distinguished guests, and ladies and gentlemen from all corners of the sporting world, a very, very good evening. Formula One team Braun GP were announced Team of the Year following their remarkable 2009 campaign, while their driver Jensen Button was also on hand to collect the Breakthrough of the Year award. Wow. Um, I think somebody forgot to tell Laureus that I'm actually 30 years old. Breakthrough sports winning. <laughs> Surfing Stephanie Gilmore, tennis stars Kim Clijsters and Serena Williams and swimmer Natalie Dutoy were honoured with awards in the Action, Comeback, Sportswoman and Sportsperson with a Disability categories. It is our 2010 year in South Africa. It's our Soccer World Cup. So I think for me to hold South Africa's name high, for me it's very, very special to be standing up here to see what sport can do. And really to Laureus, well done. Thank you very, very much for this honour and I wish you all the success for the future. Thank you very much. And then the night's greatest honour, Sportsman of the Year. And the winner is Usain Bolt. <laughs> oh, did, I, did I win? I won? This is Abu Dhabi, did I win? can you hear us? Oh, I won, oh. Despite the Jamaican's surprise, the award seemed at acknowledgement for his new world records over both 100 and 200 metres that had highlighted a fantastic sporting year in 2009. I hope you've had a good time. Thank you and good night from Abu Dhabi.